Your Excellency, it is an honor and a special occasion for me to present to you the letters of credence that accredit me as Ambassador of Mexico to St. Lucia and to be one of the fortunate Mexican diplomats who have been given the privilege and the incomparable opportunity to live and work two times in this important country and the region. With this privilege, Your Excellency, allow me to convey the compliments of, of President Andrés Manuel López Obrador and his profound message for, for personal fortune, property, and prosperity, sorry, and well-being to Your Excellency and to the people of St. Lucia. Your Excellency, one of the strategic points of the foreign policy of the government of President Andrés Manuel López Obrador is to have a stronger and more profound relation with St. Lucia and the Caribbean nations, and particularly to deploy action to strengthen our bilateral political relations to promote solidarity or solidarity cooperation for the development and on the, of the Caribbean countries to consolidate Mexico's presence in St. Lucia and in the OECS and to actively participate in the challenges of the regional agenda. All the above mentioned uh, and consistent with the principal, principles of foreign policy contained in the Mexican Constitution. The right to the self-determination, non-intervention, the peaceful settlement of disputes, the prohibition of the trade of the use of force in international relations, the legal equality of the states, international cooperation for development, the respect, protection, and promotion of human rights, and to strive for international peace and security. Your Excellency, my mission as ambassador is not just to strengthen the good existing relation between our two countries, but to materialize on, on the juridical frame that will allow us to work on the cooperation programs, programs and to take full advantage of the opportunities that Mexico and St. Lucia could have in the fields of education, trade, investments, culture, and capacity building, just to name a few. At this moment, I'm pleased to be able to ensure the implementation of the four projects contained in the first technical and scientific cooperation program between Mexico and St. Lucia to 2021-2023, two, two on heritage management, one on water management, and one regarding the construction of resilient beaches, as well as to monitor the, the implementation of the project of resilient school feeding program under the Mexico CARICON FAO initiative. I would not like to, uh, to end this uh, brief account of the cooperation that Mexico provides to St. Lucia without mentioning that in recent years, the government of my country completed and handed over projects that benefit some sector of the population in St. Lucia, like the construction of the water treatment plant in Denery North, inaugurated in 2016, 18, sorry, on the morgue and the security and ambulance components of the St. Jude Hospital in 2016, as well as other prospect uh, projects developed with reiterate, which reiterate the interest of my government in strengthening the bonds of friendship, fraternity, and solidarity that unite us. Mr. Governor General, another important aspect of our friendship is the multilateral area. The regional and international agenda and com is complex, are complex and the possibility of exchange experiences and points of view beyond strictly bilateral relations could enrich and expand our collaboration. And in this regard, I would like to express my government's sincere gratitude for the support given to the Mexican international candidacies during the last semester. Your Excellency, Mexico, a proud Caribbean country, strives to be a close and re reliable partner for the Caribbean nation, for the Eastern Caribbean states, and for St. Lucia in particular. And we look forward to working closer with the countries of the region. Therefore, Your, Excell Your Excellency, rest assured that St. Lucia can always count on Mexico as a friendly and close close partner. I thank you. Muchas gracias. Gracias, Your Excellency. Your Excellency, I am quite pleased to welcome you to St. Lucia 
for the second tour of your duties. No doubt the allurement of our tiny Helen must have played on your senses, as has done through his, throughout history to every visitor to our shores. The letters of credence by which your president, Andres Manuel Lopez Obrador, accredits you as ambassador to the United Mexican States of Saint, to St. Lucia is received with thanks. These will be laid in due course before Her Majesty the Queen. Your Excellency, since establishing diplomatic relations with St. Lucia in 1979, our two countries have embarked on a path of peaceful cooperation together that has resulted in positive benefits to commercial and industrial sector, particularly in art and craft. Between 2018 and 2019, St. Lucian representatives participated in various training and the capacity building workshops organized and funded by your government, covering a range of disciplines such as diplomacy, education, culture, health, and climate change. The government of St. Lucia welcomes this assistance as the training received will enable participants to contribute meaningfully to our development. Further, on behalf of the government of St. Lucia, I would like to place on record our gratitude for those sterling gestures, not forgetting the areas of importance such as health and human resource development, where your government has also uh, ably assisted us. We must highlight your country's contributions to St. Jude's Hospital, the Rehabilitation Fund after the passage of the trough system on December 24th, 2013, and the implementation and commissioning of the Denry Water Supply Redevelopment Project. Mexico's support in funding COVID-19 in 2020 and 2021, providing ventilators, vaccines, and technical training will always be remembered. Your Excellency, we note that one of the strategic points of foreign policy of the government of your of the government of your president is to establish stronger and more profound relations with St. Lucia and other Caribbean nations. Our government and people have already experienced your country's generosity in so many ways. Welcome this policy with open arms. Some of our domestic policies, such as our government's uh, strategy in building a viable youth economy, where participants can realize their dreams in an enabling environment, may call for continuous training of our young nationals beyond our shores to deliver alone in such a major economic areas agriculture, tourism, arts, and culture, among a few. I expect that our officials will be engaging you during your tour of duty as they seek your further assistance to identify and approach institutions that can provide special training to develop those innovation, innovative concepts that will entice school leavers and others to become willing participants in the areas of, of, uh, of endeavor. Your Excellency, you will appreciate 
that a small island development state, hindered by the economics of size and critical mass, we must depend on innovation and the goodwill of friendly nations such as Mexico if we are to outlast the threats that confront us daily, of which climate change remains a real and present danger to our survival. In recent years, we have seen a rapid policy shift towards a greater level of interaction between CARICOM, of which St. Lucia is a member state, and Latin American nations such as Mexico. In March this year, we appointed Mr. Peter Lansico as a non-resident ambassador to the United Mexican States in a move that will serve our two countries well in terms of communications and quick access. The warm relations which exists between our two countries can only grow stronger as we continue to interact based on mutual cooperation. Furthermore, our commitment to the pursuit of peace and security through active multilateral and bilateral engagements on issues of mutual interests and concerns such as sustainable development, climate change, and renewal, renewable energy can only enhance bilateral relations and development. Finally, I wish you, Your Excellency, a rewarding tour of duty. Please convey my very best wishes to President Andres Manuel Lopez Obrador for continued peace and prosperity. And I also ask that you extend our well wishes to the government and the people of St. Lucia, from the government and people of St. Lucia. <laughs>